Okay, so I've got my shaving kit. This is the razor. It's got a disposable blade and looks a bit wonky on there, so I might refit one before I try cutting my face off. Um, some disposable blades as well. The blades need cut in half first so they fit into the razor properly. There's I think these are called Allen block, but these are things apparently to reattach your face when it falls off. Or maybe just patch up cuts, but we'll see. Um, a badger hair brush and some shaving soap which looks like that and smells fab okay so I've done a bit of research I've just looked into shaving technique and things like that I know it sounds a bit soft but I don't want to cut my nose off which I'm probably going to do anyway so I've already washed my face and I've just used a cloth just to bring the pores up in a little bit I'm now going to put some soap on with the badger hair brush and the shaving soap so, just get a bit of a lather. It does smell really nice, this. So, apparently, the badger hair brush is important because it gets in right into the bristles of your beard. I've already clipped my face as well, just to keep the hair a bit shorter. Because it was a bit longer this morning. I'll probably try and edit this a bit so you don't see all the dull bits. Apparently, if you get a bit of your beard where you don't have soap on it, your face falls off. And it might not be the best face in the world, but it is the only one I've got. This is the blade. I'm going to start just on the easy bits, which are the cheek. So, we'll try and get a sideburn in mind. But let's see. Apparently it's important to keep your skin tight while you're doing this. A sad burn. First nick. been given some bits to stop this from bleeding so we'll give that a try as well like little match stubs I'll get this wet and then rub it on the cut oh feck <laughs> no, that's not really helping, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's no one there as well. I hope nobody's got too big a fog without blood. I think I'll get some tissue just to keep dabbing that. Okay, so I'm going around onto the chimney. That's an awkward bit. <laughs> I realise that's a particularly interesting expression. Oh, and another one there. And apparently, on your neck, you need to go upwards. So, let's go 
little bits missing there, but I'll have to go back over that later with some more. Over there. I think it's supposed to be my nose. Yeah, it is. Avoid. Feel the soap drying a bit, so I'm just going to put a bit more on. Steady cheeks aren't too bad. I'm just gonna put a light on. Sorry about the fan, but I think I need illumination this set. I'm trying not to swear. First time shaving, I did it with a safety razor. And to be honest, it wasn't much better than this, even though I do look like a butcher's block at the minute. As soon as you lose concentration, you cut yourself a bit. <laughs> Chin is really, really hard. Probably it. I'll just wash myself off and you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> right. There are some very smooth bits, but as you can probably tell. There's a little bit of blood in my face. 
Um, I think it's recoverable. This side as well. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mix, which is probably not cool. I'm sure I'll get better with practice. Um, but just take your time over it if you're going to try it. And I'm going to just wash it off, lather again, and just have another go just to get the rest of the stuff off. And I'll report back. Right, I'll just show you this. This is after the second shave. I've not washed myself off yet, but this is how I look. I hope you got that in focus. But in terms of accuracy and safety, I would have to rate this as fairly shite. But I get cleaned up and hopefully it won't look too bad. So it's now about six hours later and I'll just show you the results. So that's the left hand side of my face, which is probably a bit worse because the light was worse on that side. And that's the right. So a bit of a bugger really. Um, I think I need to practice. Possibly the disposable razor doesn't help in that it's a bit wobbly and if you're not so good with it, it maybe complicates things a fraction. Um, I am going to stick with it, but I think if I've got a shorter beard when I start, that will be a bit easier. But you really need to concentrate and don't start doing it on the morning of your wedding 